Let's start with social studies. Multimedia integration is a snap here because filmmaking is storytelling and history is a story. I've never seen any educational technology capture the imagination of young people quite like Minecraft. Harnessing its power for classroom use is a welcome challenge. Here you see sixth graders recreating the epic journey of Lewis and Clark. Yes, we spent a lot of time laying down bricks, but if you look closer, you'll see a language-rich activity complete with research, main idea, writing, close reading, and repeated rehearsal to build fluency. They finally saw the Pacific Ocean, and they were thrilled. It was near winter, so they decided to stay and build Fort Clatsop. Like history, English language arts is a natural narrative that lends itself to multimedia integration. Bringing creative writing to life is a no-brainer, as you can see with this ELA collaboration, a senior project riff on The Exorcist. While the classroom newsletter is timeless and valuable, what if students brought it to life by creating a language-rich news magazine? A picture is worth a thousand words, and a newscast is worth a thousand pictures. Have you ever felt like the buggers were going to take over your brain? Emily, the answer is no. No, the buggers have not taken over my brain. Why would you ask such a question as that? Multimedia integration in mathematics is another welcome challenge. There's no obvious narrative in the abstract. What really shines here are animations to illustrate concepts. The beauty of this stop-motion project on place value is that it was created by a teacher who did not consider themselves tech-savvy. So we simply took an existing worksheet they were comfortable with, placed it on the ground, and brought it to life with manipulatives and clay. Multimedia opportunities in the sciences are numerous, and documentary filmmaking is a standout. These multimedia projects were created during a summer high school three-week travel program. We spend a week learning about an endangered species, then a week experiencing the species in the field, and finally a week compiling student footage filmed and edited on their devices into individual travel journals and a group public service announcement. A project like this does not have to be expensive. The same concept can be applied to a simple field trip to a zoo. Here's a sampling of other collaborative multimedia projects. Unless the topic is serious, most are humorous. Comedy is a great hook, and this student work informs and entertains. Finally, every project you've seen was created in a special education setting. But you wouldn't know it because technology has given them the tools to level the project-based playing field. Thanks for watching, and let me know if I can help.